So just to contextualize this interview is I've seen you exactly one month ago. We had a sit down in Venice, but this is part of the lost interviews and this is round two. But as I mentioned before sitting down with you, it's actually, there's a lot of stuff that transpired. A, you went to TIFF, you went to Vancouver, you won a prize. You are now at FNC in Montreal and there's an actual retrospective on you and your work, which is dope. And you're gonna have a masterclass type talk yeah. and you won a major prize in the Giornate, uh, Giornate della Torre. So a lot of stuff has materialized yeah. since then. So congratulations on having the spotlight shown on you. If I were to have a, a conversation between Ariane, the person who develops her first short feature, and Ariane of today, what does that dialogue look like? What, what is the conversation that these two people are having? Hmm. Um, I think mostly we, will, we would talk about fear, uh, because um, since my first short film, um, I think every project have really big stressful element and but I I constantly feel fear because um, it's big and it's a big um, uh, defi, big uh, uh, challenge challenge yeah uh, but I think it's important to to go for it even if uh, I feel fear mm -hmm. and um, to just trust trust my gut. Yes. Um, I I did that since my first film, but uh, it was more heavy on me because the fear was more intense. And now uh, I think uh, the Ariane of today can tell to my old self like, you got this. Just trust yourself yes. and don't be too much in the fear because you're gonna do it anyway so just be in the moment <laughs> yeah. so would you say that that creatively you had to just get stuff out of your system and that's that 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 ultimately is what drives you as an artist is yeah because i get a sense like i wrote i wrote down here is um i get a sense that your cinema is about your own personal curiosity and possible anxiety mm -hmm. that nourishes um, your output um, yeah. and from what you're telling me there's a potential discomfort but also a comfort in knowing that you have to you have to yeah. drive it out of you yeah and I think it's a good thing to have both like for me discomfort and comfort is two things that we we all feel and like uh, to be confident but to have doubts it's two poles that are necessary mm -hmm. for the creation i think mm -hmm. um, but uh, it's true that my creative process like try to tame my uh, anxiety and curiosity in a project and after i just have to deal with what's what it brings me uh, challenge wise mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, yeah like uh, working with a snake with my first film uh, or shooting underwater and yes uh, there's always big uh, technical challenge to my my uh, universe <laughs> i guess and, and i want to I, I i believe that Part of the the your criteria is that you want to challenge your audience. You mm -hmm. that that's a sense that I'm getting. Yeah, yeah. I want to surprise them and challenge them, and I I like to play with attraction repulsion. I like when people don't know. Is it normal that I'm kind of turned on mm -hmm. by this mm -hmm. or like? Yeah, I think it's interesting to play with those gray area where it talks to us on a different level where you don't go often mm -hmm. um, but uh, i also like to like be generous and um, 
especially with vampire i wanted to people to feel discomfort but also to walk out of the cinema and feel joyful yes um, it's not just that i want to torture people <laughs> to for them to 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 feel not good mm -hmm. i want just to create an ex different experience and yeah and we had we had talked about uh, the the sort of like the vampire genre and how you can't reinvent the wheel. We, had, yeah. we, we talked about that one month ago. Um, but you lost the interview. But I lost the interview, and I don't want to repeat some of these questions, but some I will. Um, so I want to think that we're in a really, really interesting uh, space right now for Quebec cinema. When you're conceptualizing this project, are you thinking about other audiences? Are you thinking about exporting mm -hmm. this film and, and relating that film or engaging with people that are not from your backyard? Mm -hmm. uh, honestly, no, it's, it's never like um, a, conscien and a conscient conscious, conscious choice. Uh, choice. Uh, but uh, lots of things can be universal and um, yeah, I, I don't know, like I never think about that when I'm creating mm -hmm, something mm -hmm. uh, but for sure now um, uh, the film that we can see about a Qu Quebec filmmaker right now are really diverse and um, it's really nice to see that to see that uh, we can like a lot of jar can have place uh, uh, everywhere and even in Quebec I think uh, people uh, are like more engaged in the cinema yeah. because of this diversity and, um, and I think also uh, um, I, I wasn't sure uh, if all this movie that will be released uh, uh, one uh, by one uh, during the fall will um, like fight. eat uh, like yeah, 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 yeah. Will fight uh, one uh, another but I think it's creating like a sentiment d'entraînement yeah um, uh, uh, like it motivate people to see more Quebec projects. yes yes yeah so yeah it's nice to to, to be part of that. that to be part of that and to feel that uh, uh, institutions are more willing to uh, let us uh, explore, explore. Yeah. yeah it's so so important so yeah. the, the major the, the major financing institutions are Sadek and Telefilm yeah. and you get a sense that they have changed where it's no longer about cultural identity now it's much more about um, expanding ideas, if you will. Yeah, and I think the fact that uh, more genre film are um, in festivals as well, um, it creates like a hype around genre film, and so it's not um, a more a more larger audience uh, go see them. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, so in our sit down. <laughs> In our sit down in Venice, uh, we talked about you. You 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 said how liberating and um, um, inspiring it was to have a co-writing partner. You talked about Christine mm -hmm. uh, Christine uh, Doyon on, on many uh, portions of our interview, and I really like this idea that that you can develop dialogue, scene breakdowns, test test comedy, see how it works. Mm -hmm. uh, but then I was thinking about. You know, how, how does writing work as a twosome when you're applying things like the moral compass of the characters, their, their ethical choices, their backbone? Mm -hmm. When you're really creating the DNA of characters, mm -hmm. do you feel as if there's a separate, it's tasked out differently when you're, when you're in the writing process? Um, no, it was like, uh, we, we... Could be we even like, their look, you know? If, uh, in the look? That's a different thing, um, but for the interiority yes. of the character, yeah. Uh, yeah, we just talk about uh, those character like they are a real person, and um, 
for us, uh, we both really like characters, create characters. We fall in love with each of them. So uh, our love for characters connect us. And at some point, sometimes like we have to convince the other one. About yes, of course. Uh, little things, but uh, we like, I mean, after you you able to convince the other one you know it's stronger because we talk so much about it that it makes sense and uh, it allow me um, as a director to really understand more my own character as well to have those conversations uh, with Christine so it was yeah a rich uh, process that's fun uh, yeah. you're almost having to campaign for your characters yeah. or fight with them and we both really like dialogues so we play the characters and oh, okay okay yeah, yeah. constantly okay. Uh, to find the good rhythm of the sentence and the the humor in it so you, so you played Sasha and Paul at different junctures yeah you and, were those two all the other characters as well one question that we did talk about that I want us to talk about again actually the last two questions is is writing sound I thought this was a brilliant use of writing sound for comedy for descriptive elements um, and uh, I don't want it to get lost I think it's one of the genial things about this film so if you could just describe that process how does it look like and then how does it look like in post uh, you mean the sound? Writing sound, yeah, like like yeah. somebody's dying off screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, uh, uh, there's somebody's yeah. hungry. Mm -hmm. They got those cravings. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I think about all of that in the writing process, and uh, I think it's really powerful to use the off screen and create something even more sometimes uh, scary from my point of view. Um, to not see something, you can go further in your head. Yes. And uh, also, um, uh, you c can create funny uh, parallel between someone screaming because it's, it's, it's suffering and a light jazz music and it creates some things. So uh, I love to play with that. And um, um, with the, the, um, the sound conceptualization, <laughs> <laughs> um, I work with uh, Marie-Pierre Grenier and she was so inspired by the subject. So um, she tried a lot of things and afterwards we were uh, like s sitting together and I told her what I like, what is too much, uh, what is, because my main focus was to to be close to the character. So I didn't want to play with like the classic horror sound and, mm -hmm. and so, and to find all of that, uh, it was a long process, but really inspiring i really like this part of the the post-production bring something more another level it's another, another level of creativity yeah, that yeah. you didn't necessarily have 100 yeah, yeah. pat yeah. down and sometimes um uh when you add that you want to remove a little bit music mm -hmm. because uh you use music in the, uh, the editing process to create a build-up, but sometimes if you just try to remove it, it's like a more uh, intense. Yes. Yeah. I love the sound. I love everything about what you're doing next. And so um, I'm fascinated by the idea of ghosting. This takes ghosting to another level. Um, so, A, I want you to briefly describe that, 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 where is this coming from, but also how are you thinking about it now, like in terms of researching it and also creating that character set, like do you actually have a family in your head as we speak? You mean uh, to the, to create my uh, vampire family? No, no, the oh, the, the project, the next, uh, the the next the project, next yeah. Oh, uh, actually, it's an adaptation of a play. Yes, yes, yes. So it's um, 
uh, like the family it's it's really close to my co-writer who wrote the play and uh, there's a lot of her family in the project so it's starting from her mind yes <laughs> and she was inspired um, about um, a phenomenon in Japan where people disappear from their own life and apparently they have some kind of underground secret agency who help people from uh, to succeed their and, and disappearing yeah so she she decided to use that and um, but in Quebec uh, what if this kind of place exist here exist here and um, yeah and um, it's uh, the typical uh, Quebec family and uh, so uh, lots of people can relate to those characters yeah and um, they are like but they are so colorful so colorful and so funny as well so this like balance between humor and a uh, tragedy because yeah. it's a tragic story um, brings something really fresh I think um, and yeah so but I don't know maybe I can just pitch what this idea is about because of course. Uh, uh, it's it's um, it's uh, basically about people who decide to disappear from their own life without telling their relatives. Significant others, yeah. And uh, all the repercussion uh, that... And entails. Yeah, that entails, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so looking forward to it. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so th thank you so much for doing this for a second time. Merci tellement. Hey, this is Eric from MyOnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.